Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel where we talk all things true crime. If that's something that you're into and you like to talk about different cases, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like if you do enjoy the video or you appreciate today's case coverage at least. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be alerted to all new content that I do put out. This is a story, or not a story, this is an article that, um, it's an older article from January, but I'm rehashing it and it's for good cause. And I actually forgot in a way that this happened. So I wanted to bring it to your guys' attention. So remember when Brian Kohlberger will be talking about the Idaho Four, if you're not familiar with this case, which I think everybody in the world at this point is, it's about the four college students that were brutally slain in their off-campus home in Moscow, Idaho on November 13th, 2022. The suspect that they believe did this is Brian Kohlberger. He is in custody at the Lake Tall County Jail, and we did just see him on Monday stand in silence as his plea. So I was going back looking through new old articles, and this one stumbled across my my, you know, my page. So it says Idaho murder suspect, Brian Kohlberger's parents hire crime scene reconstruction expert. So do you guys remember that he hired, um, his attorney, she was out at the house, I believe. Let me see. Um, I think she was out at the house on the fourth. I want to make sure I give you guys the right information. Yes. So January 4th, she was out there um, at the Moscow house, taking pictures and doing all of that stuff that defense attorneys do. In my mind, though, I don't know why I didn't think this. I didn't realize that there was actually a crime scene reconstruction like crew there to help put the puzzle pieces together. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Not only does the prosecution have their own animations, pictures, all of that but so does the defense. So they do have a lot of stuff that we haven't seen, I'm sure, as well. So I'm gonna read this article really quick. It's not very long, so it will get through it pretty quickly. It says, accused, oh, also before I get started, drop this in the comments below. How is Brian Kohlberger's parents able to pay for a reconstruction expert, but they cannot afford to get their son an attorney? That I don't understand. It says accused killer Brian Kohlberger's defense team has hired a veteran Washington State crime scene reconstruction expert. Forensic expert Matthew Nodell, owner and operator of Nodell Scientific, and his team spent five hours inside the home on 1122 King Road, Moscow, where four University of Idaho students were brutally stabbed on November 13th. While Kohlberger faced a Pennsylvania judge on Tuesday and agreed to be extradited to Idaho, Nodell's team painstakingly examined the inside of the three-story house and the perimeter of the property, which had earlier been combed for evidence by police forensic teams. The Post confirmed with Moscow Police Kohlberger's legal team, including his state-appointed defense attorney, Ann Taylor, was at the home Tuesday. Nodell was seen going in and out of the home wearing white gloves and surgical foot covers over his shoes. According to his website, Nodell specializes or specialties include crime scene reconstruction, blood stain pattern analysis, and shooting reconstruction. And that's him there. Another picture of him there, carrying out his 3D imagery. He claims more than 30 years experience in the field and provides 2D and 3D models of his findings when called to testify as an expert in court. The evaluation and examination of bloodstains at crime scenes is often overlooked and misunderstood, according to the Nodell Scientific website. Bloodstains can exist on clothing walls, hidden behind baseboards, or under carpets. Do not underestimate the significance of bloodstains. Over the years, Nodell has been called a defense attorney, witness to numerous shocking cases, including the trial of Christopher Cruz, who was charged with the 2015 murder of his white Jeanette Pigman Cruz in Worthington, Ohio. Nodell offered a second opinion on firearm and crime scene analysis on the Cruz case and jury ended up acquitting him after 12 hours of deliberation. Nodell also used an expert speaking in Fox investigation into rapper Tupac Shakur's death. 
It says Kohlberger is accused of killing university students Madison Mogan, Kayla Gonzalez, Zana Carnotal, and Ethan Chapin on November 13th in their rental home in Moscow. The three female victims lived in the home with two other women, Bethany Funk and Dylan Mortensen, who were left unharmed and somehow slept through the murders. There was blood everywhere. We have investigators who have been on the job 20 and even 30 years, and they say they have never seen anything like this, a police source told Daily Mail at the time. A trail of blood oozing from the foundation of the home is still visible and has remained untouched for more than a month. Kohlberger, 28, a criminology PhD student who attended nearby Washington State University, was arrested on December 30th at his parents' home in Monroe County, PA. And he was, it's not Monroe County, PA. I'm working on a huge story for you guys for this weekend. It's, it's big. Um, it has to do with the woman that went missing um, supposedly in his town and was found in, within the last month. It's big. Um, I may have the story out before Saturday, but it may be Saturday. Plans to have a private crime scene cleanup crew take over the King Street home last week was um, scraped after a judge ordered the home to be preserved. It remains an active crime scene with yellow police tape still surrounding the home. The Post reached out for Nodell for comment on Tuesday. A judge placed a gag order on the case, preventing anyone inv involved with it from speaking to the media or the public. Once he has been booked in the, into the jail in Idaho and evaluated, Kohlberger will appear in court where he will be formally charged with four counts of first-degree murder and one count burglary. So right there it says he will be evaluated. So no mental health defects that they'll be able to tell from. So let me know what you guys think about this because a lot of people are saying prosecution isn't giving over evidence. They're withholding the defense, you know, um, has nothing. But if you think about it, if you're a defense attorney and you're, you're able to have that moment to walk into a crime scene or be at a crime scene, I feel like that, that's like luck, you know, a lot of luck. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always check the comments. I will see you guys all on the next live or in the next video. Bye, guys.